Hi folks, today we're going to take a look at Long Island Audits, where he goes to the city of Inglewood and, well, does another one of his usual frauds and gets his feelings hurt when they say no to him. But before we begin today's video, a quick announcement. I want to thank all of my current subscribers and members of the channel. Without you guys, I couldn't keep the channel going, so thank you very much. It means a lot to me. Secondly, I noticed through the analytics that a large number of you haven't subscribed to the channel yet. Please, subscribe to the channel. Not only is it a great way to stay informed on all of our frauding community, but it's also a great way to make new friends, to meet new people, share ideas, and now that we have the movie review channel, get some info on some great 80s movies, or maybe some bad ones. But with all that being said, let's enjoy today. In California, as well as the Inglewood Police Department, we're here today, as always, to peacefully exercise our First Amendment right to film in public and publicly accessible areas, to promote transparency and accountability within our government, and to ensure that our public servants recognize our rights and treat us with respect. Let's get into it. So before we go inside the Inglewood City Hall, let's take a look around the Inglewood Police Department right here to our right. Can I help you with something? Excuse me? Can I help you with something? Can you help me with something? Who are you? And your name and badge number? Can I help you with something? You can help me with your name and badge number. Detective Ladner, 900. Can I help you with something? No, Detective Ladner. Okay. Thank have you. You too. Thank you. Everyone comes up to you while you're peacefully exercising your constitutional rights, asking if you need help with anything. And that's just the way it is. Uh, everything that guy just says bullshit. Thank you. So we have Detective Ladner over here taking a picture. Detective Ladner, is that your personal or business phone? Have a good day. That's your business phone or or personal phone, Detective Ladner? We'll find out. We'll do a uh, open records request. Hi, sir. Hi, how are you? I'm Lieutenant Ladner, Marsh Commander. Do you have a badge number, Lieutenant? Do you have a badge number? Yes, 836. And your name and badge number, sir? Eight, five, How are you guys doing today? I know I don't need any help at the moment. Thank you. I appreciate that, though, Lieutenant. Okay. Uh, we're kind of close to the perimeter of our vehicle. We're really uncomfortable with that. Why would that be? Because these are our vehicles that we work with. It has our equipment in it, and people close to our vehicles make us a little nervous. We just want to know what you're doing. You have an ID on you. You know who we are. We want to know who you are. Oh, my ID? I, I don't. I, I, I don't give any identification well, unless I've been. You're supposed to have an ID on you. Unless I've been unless I've been suspected of a crime, Lieutenant, I don't I don't provide ID. Okay. All right. We would greatly appreciate it if you stepped a little away from our vehicles. If you want to call, I'm just taking here. some pictures and video of the vehicles. That's okay. all. We just want you Nothing nefarious going on here, Lieutenant. Okay. So if you can just step a little farther away from our vehicle, we would appreciate it. I can't get the pictures that I need from well, from that far away. Assume. We don't want you in close looking in close proximity. We have equipment in there. I'm not like I'm not going in to take well, any equipment, Lieutenant. I mean, you could say that about anybody. Okay. I am saying about. Now, that might be true for most people. However, seeing how they are in a state which has a significant high rise in crime, especially when it comes to auto theft, shoplifting, it's a reasonable request they asked you just to step away from the vehicle slightly. They didn't say you couldn't film them. They're just asking you to step away because they have valuable equipment in there that they need to protect. They don't know if you're going to steal the car or try to break in the car. But that doesn't fit your narrative that all cops are bad. So, let's see what happens next. Everyone's walking around filming our Looking in our vehicles. Yeah, I That's mean. a little suspicious. So we need you again. I mean, we've already asked. Is suspicious a misdemeanor or a felony? Which is neither. Okay, I need perfect. To step a little bit so we're on the same page. Vehicle. I'm just taking pictures and video of the, of the taxpayer funded vehicles here. That's all. That's it. Thanks, Lieutenant. You have a great day, okay? Take care. So, they tried, but failed. Inglewood City Hall here. Do I have to pass through this metal detector to go? Oh, I'm just taking a tour around the building. Oh, you have to have business here. Oh, I do. Yes. 
My business is to take a tour around the building, ma'am. This is not a public building, open to the public? It is a public building, but you have to have, because I have to access you, so you have to access Excuse me? Do you have any business here? Oh, I do. I want to speak to some of the people in the tax office as far as just general business. Just general business. I want, oh, the tax office right over there? How do I go up to the upstairs? So you have to come sign in for us? Sign in? Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right over here? Yeah. Now, I've made two cuts to the video and I will be up front with them. The first was the gentleman in the black and orange shirt delivering packages. He turns out to be a fan of Long Island and while kissing up to him and making Long Island audits feel like the prom queen he thinks he is, it's not really time sensitive, so I cut it for there. The second is the lady making a phone call. She does say somebody's name, and just to be respectful, to make sure I don't clip that information in, I removed it. But I have to ask, what business do you have at City Hall? You're not there to pay any taxes or file any permits or liens or get blueprints for something. You don't even live in California. You live in Long Island, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Which department are you going to, sir? Um, all of them. All, yeah. all of the departments. Which, what business That's do you have there? That's why I picked there? other. Oh, I'm what just going to, yeah, there? I'm an independent journalist. I'm working on a story. Why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? Ooh, oh, my God. Stop fucking lying. Okay, no, we can't send you to every floor. You have to have business on them. Like down here, you're free to go wherever you want. But as far as upstairs, you have to have business on each floor, like specific stuff in order for them to do it. What's the, what's the official business that I would need to enter you into a public building? Like you would have to have actual business there. Like you would be going well, what to the is actual for, business? For a specific reason, not because of being a journalist. Unfortunately, that's just our boss's protocol. Who's your boss? He's my boss. Yeah. He's, uh, well, this is one of my supervisors, right. but my other boss, he's the person that runs the building. And yeah, we can't give access to, people to each floor unless they're actually having business there. But I do have business. Well, you said you're an jur independent journalist. Yeah, I'm an independent journalist. It's, that's, not, that's not a reason for us, unfortunately. I'm just well, this is a public building. I understand. I, listen, I, I understand yeah. exactly what you're telling me. I just think mm -hmm. that this is a public building and I have a right to be here just like anyone else does. No, that's why I said you are free to be down here wherever you want to. But as far as going to the floors upstairs, unfortunately, my boss, he's had made specific orders in order for you to go upstairs to each Who, floor. But your boss, you is a, your boss works for Allied Universal? No, he does not. He's the person that runs this building. And who is that? The mayor? No, it's not. Is there a policy? His policy is... Well, it looks like Inglewood's trying to limit the fraudulent interactions with, with their staff because they have these policies in place. But Long Island Audits is going to make the argument, well, is there a policy? Well, even if there is a policy, you have said before in the past, a policy isn't law so you can trump it. But they're not trying to stop you from conducting your First Amendment audit. They are just telling you that there is a policy in place to prevent you from going to the upper floor, floors and the upper offices unless you have official business. That you, for each floor you're Do you have like a to, policy though? You have, what I'm, I'm just trying to tell you. Yeah. Like, it's, it's not me, my boss, because we've had like this happen before. In order for you to go to those actual floors, you have to be taking care of business there. It can't be just a film or independent journalist. It has to be like for actual. Well, I don't think your boss has the, uh, unfortunately, ma'am, I don't think, unfortunately for you, I don't think that the, your boss has the authority to stop me. Oh, he definitely does. He runs the building. With the mayor, he's right under the mayor, they, and that's that's how they want it to be. I don't think the mayor can stop me from going inside of a public building. He absolutely, uh, it's not. Yeah, the I'm just giving you a second floor. Second floor. Yeah. yeah. You just had a problem with this before. Interesting. Thank you. Appreciate you. Yeah, how are you? Good. How are you? Good. I'm doing well, sir. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so we are on the second floor here. We have some city of Inglewood offices here. Wow, I will say that security officer, while I take a little break to 
point out our friendly reminders that they're always recording us, even though it always seems to be an issue when we record them. It's already become an issue today because apparently being an independent journalist doesn't allow you to enter into a public building. It shouldn't matter if I'm an independent journalist or not. We should be able to enter into any public building, check in upon our government, and hold them accountable. I can not- so, by your logic, I can walk right into the White House, walk right into the West Wing, throw my feet up on the desk, and demand the president tell me what's he doing. Demand accountability from him. Seeing how the White House is a government building, and it's a public building, but, oh wait, it's also a private residence. You see, the logic you have here doesn't make sense. Due to the simple fact of there are policies in place to protect the people who work in these buildings. But yet, you don't understand that. And this whole thing of their cameras are watching us, but we can't record them. Dude, it's getting old. You're coming off as a conspiracy nut with that. Now I'm making community development department. Let's check it out. Hi, ma'am. How are you? Um, this is the building department? Yeah, I'm not on, on that, right? Oh, yeah. No. What, what, what I'm just taking some pictures and video. Yeah, um, I don't want you taking a video of you. You don't want me to take video of you? No. So, no, I, I need to, I, I'm trying to figure out why you're here. Do you see customers here? So I don't know who you are. You just walked in, so I need to know what you're here for. Oh, I'm just taking some pictures and video, ma'am. That's all. I'm not oh. here. I don't need any direct assistance from you. Thank you, though. I appreciate it. I don't think we well, allow that, so... You don't, you don't allow it? If I'm not here to see building, why? I can't take... Why wouldn't I be able to take a look around? Because you're not taking part in actual business with the city hall. You're there to make a video for YouTube. If you were a real journalist, you would follow up on something. Something like some kind of corruption or some information on, you know, a project they're doing to help people. Or you would follow up with their public relations officer and get the information through them to set up an interview. Or to even be able to, uh, to come in and film the buildings. But that's not enough work for you. You want to make it as easy as possible, so you want to fraud it. to take a look around the facility, but which is exactly what I'm doing. Yeah, who are you? You can call security. That's fine. So she is on the phone with security, apparently. Security let me up. What, what did you think I did? Just, what did you think I did? <laughs> Just busted in and broke into a public building I can't walk around the building department come on it's a small area I already saw everything I could see anyway so the elevator brought us back to the first floor ladies and gentlemen and my camera wasn't recording so you said that the we were just on the building department I was just at the building department and you said that she was saying that they were that I was being disrespectful that's what she's talking to right now. They're saying that you're being rude. That I was being rude. Disrespectful. Uh, but it's all on camera, sir. I mean, I, I I understand that that's what they told you. I don't work here, so I have to go like by their word, you know what I mean? Just, yeah, you're a private security company, but again, I would like to speak to somebody that works here then. That's what I'm saying. I just call my supervisor. Yeah, somebody that works here. Somebody that works for the public. For sure, I got you. Well, I don't know about that. I mean... Your video cut out, and we got a jump cut to you being back down on the first floor. So I don't know what happened. You could have been rude. I know you were a little bit disrespectful when she asked you not to film her. And what business do you have there? And you came up with the crock story of, I'm there filming the building. That's my business. That doesn't count. The people on the first floor told you, unless you have legitimate business with the Department of Building or the apartment of any other that you can't go up to those upper floors. They told you you could film downstairs all you want, but that's not good enough. That doesn't give you enough for an audit because you got to get confrontation to sell your videos online. Because the other security guard let me upstairs, no problem. You saw him, right? 
he's new. He doesn't really know the protocol. Well, he heard. He's upstairs and you see he's not here anymore because he didn't want to have to do that, you know? Oh, he didn't have to do what? He didn't want to turn you away. Mm. Yeah, but no one should turn me away. It's a public building. I just want to go speak to the public works on the third floor. I get you. But like I said, I don't, t everyone's telling us something different. So I don't, you know what I mean? I'll just yeah, I mean, like I said, I was just at the building department. I didn't disrespect anybody, but I'd like to, if you can get me somebody that works for the city, that would be great. Gotcha. Thank you. Somebody's coming down? No, no, so I went up there. He's not there. I called him. There's got to be somebody here that you don't work for the city, right? You work for Allied Universal. Yeah. There's got to be somebody here that works for the city that can that can help me. Come on, this is City Hall. No, so I called him. He yeah. Said, he in if you want to wait. And he works for Allied. No, he works for the city. Public yeah. safety supervisor. Public safety supervisor. Gotcha. I would just like to conduct my business. I understand, but I'm just going off for the people I But by you keeping me here, not allowing me to conduct my business, you're participating in violating my rights. Well. He's fairly intelligent. Ah! He's full of shit! Well, I'm just up what they told can us you call, call law enforcement? Maybe they can help. Call law enforcement, please. I would appreciate that. If you can call them, maybe they can explain our, my rights. Their job is to uphold our rights, so maybe they'll talk to you guys. Yeah, yeah, sure. Go outside and talk? I'm waiting here for, I think they're calling. Law enforcement or something, or oh, I could actually help you with that as well. All right. So this is the officer who let us up in the first place. I just want to say I appreciate you um, trying to help me out and let me in. Yeah, just, I mean, you're allowed I, to. I'm allowed to. Yeah, I, I mean, just it's a public building. I mean, but unfortunately, I guess our client manager doesn't want you in the building. Um, I think he would like to talk to you. He's actually on his way, um, just to have a few words. Um, and he, well, he you're not who? doing anything illegal, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, no. no. I, and at this point, I was just looking at the directory. I already spoke to building, uh, the building department. I just need to speak to public works on the third floor, and I would have been out of my... Ah, uh, you gotta love his silver tongue. He knows how to lie to people. I mean, you're telling one person that you're there just to film, which is not allowed unless you have permission to do so now you're telling this security officer you wanted to go and talk to somebody on the third floor at public works now do you need them to fix a pothole or address a faded street sign or something because that's the only reason why i could see you going there or unless you're trying to apply for a job but then again you would do that through an opportunity center or uh, applying online you're there mainly just to get your YouTube video. I wish you would be honest about it. I've been out of here, but yeah, I mean, they're not letting me up yeah, anymore. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm just taking orders from a client. Manager. No, I understand. So I mean, listen. By soon. You know, you don't. Here, you're not. A, you don't. You don't work for the government. And you did yeah. try. Listen, I, I saw you did try and you I know help me out. Yeah, definitely. And I appreciate that and for. letting me upstairs and yeah. you know that you did. I, I, I listen. My my. I don't have any issues with you no, at all. Thank here. you. Thank you. I appreciate you. Just you know doing taking orders. You know. No, 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 I appreciate it. should be coming by shortly, and he would just like to have, have a few words with you. That's it. Okay, and that is who? Um, his name is Emery, Mr. Ward. He's a client manager for the building. So he should be coming by shortly. He, so he works for the city? He works for the city, yes. Okay, perfect. Gotcha. I was told you been escorted out by police. Huh? Have you been escorted out by Englewood police? No, 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 That's no. Weird. That's what they mentioned. I was like, interesting. No, I didn't get escorted out by law enforcement, no. I, I mean, law enforcement supposed to come over here and tell you guys, hey, let them upstairs, you know? Wrong, 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 wrong. Wrong, 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 wrong. You're wrong. You're wrong. You're wrong. Well, we're going to have to call out some shenanigans over here because the police would not be able to make them not enforce their policies if their policy is there to make sure people are there to conduct business and to keep people safe the police can't stop them they're not violating your first amendment rights to film in public because they said you could film in the first floor but if you need to go to the second floors you needed official business with those areas not the right to just go and film 
not the other way around. I'm just trying to help you, you know, I know you wanted to gain some information. I mean, I was just trying to help you out with that, but, you know, the client manager just gave me a call, so he just wanted you to step outside and you'll have a few words with you. That's about it. All right, where? Film all he want. How can I help? Hi, sir. I'm sorry to bother for whatever you were doing. I, I was just trying to ask some questions and gather some content and, and record here, but I was met with a lot of resistance by these officers, uh, security officers, saying that I couldn't do it. Um, and I just I just have to ask some questions right, and try to get some public information. I signed in to the electronic signing sheet. I tried to do you know my part in order to gain access to the building, but apparently there's some uh, big issue. Their super. Are you their supervisor? Yes, sir. Uh, apparently that I'm it's under your orders that I, I'm not allowed to record inside of this building or do or well go we're anywhere. in a lockdown status you know because of all the active shooting and so forth that's going on so we're not allowing people to just freely go to any floors or what have you if you have business at one department then I will escort you to that department but outside of that no yeah you know, no exactly and to walk around well, if you're locking down for security purposes, like I said, anybody that comes in here, they say, I got to go to the public works department. You just let them up. There's no verification of what business they have or anything of that nature. We have them sign in. Yes, we do. We yeah, have you have them sign in and just say public works. Our, our, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so I, I need to speak to somebody from public, public works. works. We will escort you up there. But if you're not just going to public works, if you want to go. Well, you could escort me to another one after, after no, that, no, correct? No, we're not doing that. No, no, no. Ooh, access denied. <laughs> Why wouldn't you do that? Because we understand that you have you one, have two, business. three, four security officers I'm, here. I'm sure I'm there's not, one I'm that. I'm not going to go through it with you. I, I don't want to go through anything okay. with you. I'm okay. just saying if you, you have four. Free to stay here. You have four security officers here, sir. And your name You're is. Free Emery Ward. I'm the public safety supervisor okay. for and the city of Inglewood. And any information that you need, I will give you. But you will not freely run our building. We're not doing that. No, you so. can you can have somebody escort me to each floor. Yeah, that's not how it works. You see, it could have if you would have, oh, I don't know, talked to the public relations informa information officer and said, hey, I want to come in. I'm doing a story. I'm an independent journalist. And they could have set up an appointment time for you to come in. And they would have given you a tour of the building, let you film whatever you wanted, all the floors you've wanted. But no, you're not going to tell them how they tell their employees what to do. You're not even a resident of the city of Inglewood. You're not even a resident of California. You're a resident of Staten Island or Long Island or wherever the hell you come from in New York. But why do you have to demand such things that you're not entitled to? You understand, right? Yeah. You have your orders, right? Okay. So your the, the orders respectfully uh, violate my constitutional rights, sir, and you, you just that's don't fine. care? If, if that's and that's believe, fine? If that's what you believe, that's fine. so be it. But what are you, you so scared of? What, what are you so scared of, Emery? I'm not afraid of anything. But, but why? So you have a security ben, here. I'm not afraid of anything, Ben. Okay, so you have security officers here, four of them, and then you, you go through a metal detector that's over here. Yeah. So I don't have any weapons on me, obviously, except for a camera. So what do you have to hide, Emery? I don't have anything. A couple of things we need to take care of here. One, your name's not Ben. It's Sean Paul Reyes. If you're providing a government building with a false name, that can be a crime. You could be arrested for that one. Also, 3D printed weapons. Those are weapons that are usually printed out of 3D printed materials, such as wood, plastic, ceramics, something that can actually be used as a projectile or a firearm. Also, have you never heard of a ballistics knife? Again, made out of ceramics, it's a weapon that can be used also as, as a stabbing weapon or as a projectile itself. But no, you don't understand that. That's why they're trying to protect the, the employees of City Hall. But you don't understand that. They are going through a lockdown procedure. They've told you how you can get access, but yet you're not there to conduct any real business. You're there to to film for an audit. Okay, so what is the issue about me going inside to, to a public building? Protocol. I just explained to you. Who did you protocol. get that protocol approved by, Emery? Did you get it approved by the city council? Is it approved? Is it an ordinance, Emery? Or are you just trying to be a you know a one-man show here and just making up whatever you want, just free freestyling it? 
Come on. You, you, need, you need approval I'm to do these kinds of things. You want to stand here in the lobby, you want you need, to film whatever you want. Emery, you need, Emery, you, you no, listen, you can raise your voice and all you want. It doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't make you any tougher than anything. It, listen, you can raise your voice all you want. You can do that all you want. That's fine. You, it, it doesn't make you look very professional, Emery. But listen, at the end of the day, you don't have the authority to just make blanket rules here that violate people's constitutional rights. You don't. Who did you get your, your policy approved by? Yourself? Come on. You need an approval by this is the people's building, not yours, Emory. This is the people's building. And you could just make whatever rules you want, even though you know I don't have any weapons because you have that metal detector there, but you're still scared about me going to floors with a camera? Come on. Let's be real here. It's a control thing. That's what it is, and that's, that's what it's looking like. Ridiculous. So can I go to the public works? No. So I can't go to public works? No. Why not? You're because not you said so? Why not? Because you said so? You are not free to roam the building and go to any department. I can go to any department that I want to. This is ridiculous. Doesn't make any sense. This is the type of attitude that you're instilling into these security officers here, and that's why they treat the public the way that they do. Because of you. It comes from the top down. Because of you. Now I understand why this woman treated me the way she did. Because of you. You've instilled that in her. Because you're her leader. And this is what you did, Emery. This is, this is, the, this is the exact what you're portraying of the city of Inglewood, right? This is what you want to portray, right? Anyone else can come in here and go to any floor that they choose to. All they have to do is come here, sign into your little electronic database here and say, Public Works, and they can go up to Public Works. But I can't. Why would that be, Emery? Because I'm recording? Is that why? Well, anything that he would have gotten passed as a proposal to keep the building safe would have been voted on by the city council and approved by the mayor. But since they did approve it, there's no way for them to say that they violated your civil rights. We're going to end the video here. Sean Paul Ben Reyes decides to get a FOIA request, doesn't tell us what he's FOIAing, and then goes on a tirade about how the city works employees, in particular the public safety's officer, was hiding something and was upset because he was caught outside the building. Again, we don't know what he could have been doing. He could have been on a meeting. He could have been dealing with something else. But if you guys like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Leave a thumbs up and a comment. And also, subscribe to the second channel, NCR Movie Network. We have a Patreon for both channels where I'll be putting up movies, live streams, and reviews to all the stuff that I'm putting up on the second channel. Plus, we're having our first live stream with a special guest, Tones from Tones Over Thinks It. With all that being said, be well, be safe, and I'll see you guys next time. A special thank you to all my channel members. Without you guys, I couldn't keep the channel going.